All right, so I've talked about my depression, but um, depression is not the only thing going on with me. Um, I'm an introvert, and I've spent a lifetime fighting being an introvert to be an extrovert. Um, it means that when I go outside and I talk to people, unless I know them really well, um, it's a battle. If I go going to the store and interacting with people, it's a battle. It means I take a lot of mental energy to go do that. Making a phone call is a huge mental battle for me, um, and always has been. So the introversion isn't exactly make my life any easier. Another thing is I have um, ADD or ADHD, um, and not only do I sort of have it, when I was tested for it about, a, I don't know, 12 years ago, um, I got a perfect test score. You know, this is not a good thing. I maxed out on every possible measure for ADHD. Um, and yeah, it's it explains a lot about me for myself of why, you know, I, you know, there's a book I want to finish, but I don't finish it and I start reading eight other books or why, you know, I walk up to a dishwasher and instead of putting a cup into the dishwasher, I put it on top of the sink. I don't know why. They're totally irrational actions. There's no good reason for doing it, but the ADHD within me means that I do weird things that aren't making any sense. Now, personally, there are some significant upsides to um, ADHD that I see. Um, I love crisis. Give me a good crisis, and that relaxes me. You know, if, if everything's going crazy and everybody's going, Wah! time slows down for me. Things get calmer. Things get easier. And it just becomes easier to do stuff. And it's just easy to keep track of everything. It just relaxes me. And as the more relaxed I get, the more focused I get, the easier it keeps to remember all the details of everything that's going on. So um, as crazy as it sounds, ADHD means that I can, a crisis and crazy times are actually quite relaxing for me. The other thing is it means that my mind is constantly coming up with ideas. People talk about thinking outside of the box. Well, that is my standard place where I am. I cannot hear about something without trying to figure out what is the box and then what can be done outside of it. It happens every waking moment of my life. I'm constantly wondering why and how can it be improved? How can it be changed? Or seeing, you know, something and suddenly going, wait a minute, I'm suddenly thinking of stuff that I read about, about Hadrian's Wall, and how does that relate to this stuff that the um, Stanley Milch Indians may have been doing? This just completely unconnected things flow together in my mind incredibly easy. The frustrating part of it is that, uh, you know, I have a hundred cool, interesting ideas a day. There's no way I can act on, on even, you know, one of them on, on, on a day. I mean, it's like I can only act on so many ideas in a year, but I have like a hundred cool ideas, amazing ideas, but I can't act on all of them, which, which is somewhat frustrating. But I have to live with ADHD and I take Ritalin. I used to self-medicate with coffee. And by self-medicating with coffee, it meant, uh, you know, before I had two or three cups of coffee in the morning, basically, I was useless for doing anything. It was pointless in even doing anything. And basically, it was like, you know, I was functioning, was still asleep. Um, and it's because I need the stimulant from the caffeine. Without the stimulant, uh, it's very hard for me to do even the simplest tasks. And day, I mean, the whole day can go away if I don't get the stimulant. One other aspect of ADHD is a lot of people with ADHD um, suffer from depression. It is a much more common thing among people with ADHD. So I've got ADHD, I've got depression, and I'm an introvert. All these wonderful things for somebody who um, is a political commentator, who um, ran their own consulting business for years where you have to constantly talk to people and so that. Yeah, I mean, it's like I, I'm in some ways... I was setting my life up in ways that were not going to work with who I am, though it's where I wanted to be is the best way of saying it. Anyway, enough for now. Let me know what you think.